Yep, yeah, they're arresting them. They're holding a man down with their knees on his back. He's face down. Okay. They're moving one man. He's right there. No, he has he has a legal obligation to give me his badge number when I ask for it. Yeah, but they don't do We need his badge number, sir, Sergeant. Sergeant! We need Officer Delic's badge number. You're done, brother. Bad move, brother. Ticket, so you can't arrest me. Thank you very much. And so the majority of the people here.
Bad move, brother. Bad move. What's your badge number 200? Officer of the Polo Police Department. You're gonna regret that one, aren't you? You're gonna regret that one? Did you pull that lady by her hair? Did you pull that lady by her hair? You wish you didn't do that, huh? You wish you did it. You can apologize now to the public. There's 7,000 people watching right now. They know what your face looks like and they know your badge number. You will be the first officer I fired. Hey, next time we go, just cut over. We'll grab everybody in this loop. When you when you cut over to the thing, we'll just grab everybody here. Hey, if you aren't ready to get arrested, get out of here. Port of Seattle, Tequila. Move back, move back, move back. Let's call these run politicians out! Let's call these run politicians out! 
Seattle Police Department is reckless, out of pocket, completely unprofessional, not only with, they have, if I'm not mistaken, they have a Port of Seattle Police. Port of Seattle, well there's, there's multiple jurisdictions, like Tequila, Port of Seattle, there's SPD, yeah, do um, you have a grenade launcher in one hand, you had Officer Delica that actually grabbed the woman by her hair and dragged her to the floor while she was facing away from him. Um, these officers have lost their mind. They were macing another person, and and this is what it's come to? This is what, well, of course it did. Of course, because that's where we are now. Right? We're, we're in a society, in the most quote-unquote liberal progressive city in the country, perhaps first or second to San Francisco, you have a police force that is so well armed that they are willing to exercise every piece of ammunition they have to neutralize us. Has an immigrant story. For what? what because we are here to protest family. against the illegal Being detention of our brothers and sisters. Harbor. They're enforcing the policies of Trump. Here for 10 years That's what they're doing. Can't go home. There has to be a level of disgrace and dishonor. Hey, hey, get that, get that, get that right there. Cops setting up barricades. Setting up barricades. Solidarity, what, what, what does it mean for you all? We were, we were refugees. We were refugees one day. Mm. And we came here and we found our home. This is literally the Our mom's out of the country. I'm like, what does it mean for her? Well, she comes back. No That's not no right. Wall. That's not right. She's from here. She's been here for over 20 no years. Bad. She deserves to come no back. Right we're just as American. We're just as American as no we are. No wall. Thank you. We've heard. We've heard that what we're doing here in the airport. That what we're doing here in the airport is having an actual impact. Is having an actual impact on negotiations around the detainees. Officers, what would you like from us? 
A lot of us are willing to get arrested. We want to do it peacefully and not get hurt. So we're just letting you know that we know you guys are going to stay here. Thank you. We're uh, we're letting you know that we know you're human beings. We know that you've been uh, the mayor of Seattle, or you guys were told to be here and you're doing your job. We don't want to get hurt. We don't want to get maced. We're all willing to get arrested, and we don't want to leave. But we're, we're not going to leave. Um, because as far as we know, there are people still being detained here. We're really, really trying to do our job to be citizens. We know you're doing your job right now to, uh, well, you're just doing your job. We would like some kind of statement from you guys. We've all seen the story so many times of uh, what happened. We'd like a statement from you guys of what you would like us to do before arresting so that we don't get hurt. So far, I've seen you guys be pretty decent. They locked us in. I don't know if we have an exit downstairs. Why are you guys closing the doors? We are free people. Okay, we're gonna be in jail for the rest of our lives. Why is it closed? Why is it closed? Why is it closed? Why is it closed? Why is Tukwila police here? Why is the Seattle police here? One second. It's no public entrance. It's a public entrance, sir. Let's, let's. Make sure you record it. Make sure no shit comes out. Yeah, he was just arrested for trying to get out. They want us to leave, and then they want to arrest us for getting out. You want us to stay here? We can stay here. We're going to 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 stay
four, four different times and say, we don't want to arrest anybody. You guys were blocking the paths of little children, people in wheelchairs, stuff like that. You guys had a good cause. You, had, you guys had a good cause, but somewhere along the line, it got off track. And uh, so that's all I do is ask you. I'll, I'll look at what you sent me. I'd okay. ask you to take that message back to the people that you protest mm -hmm. with and say, hey, to have some consideration for people trying to get through the airport. Yeah, little kids go to Disneyland with their parents, and your people are bumping up against them. Right. So that, that was fine. Well, we have, we, have different, we have different lines. I, I, I take the, the approach of that. Except I wish you would. I wish you had a body camera like I do. That's fine. Because it protects us all. It protects us all. Sure. Do you have no body camera? The thing is, is I, I guess you have a body camera? They don't carry. They don't. I don't know why. My, my point is, what, what, do you, what do you hope to accomplish now? The people that you want to, that you were here to protest about, yeah. are going to be released tomorrow morning. So you've accomplished what you set out to do, right. what you gained by sticking around. Yeah, you take any ownership of the fact that you guys came here and did what you okay. law? So, I'm sorry, I mean, you're going to have to clear out the rest of the airport. Our minds are on the Michigan refugees. refugees. Right. Are we, from our understanding, they're but what, refugees. But, but, but on what, on what they're, they're, they're refugees ground. across the country. What are the grounds? I'm looking at the cost. See, those are strong words, man. You're saying we're giving them a hostage? Right. Did you let people leave? Oh, we, 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 we didn't accomplish that. You stopped people from coming and uh, leaving freely. You did pretty well. You, we had to close us. a bunch of shit. So we're holding so people hostage. Right, but people oh, are still flying out. People are, are still coming here. You yeah. just said that. You disrupted the flight. Well, that's the goal, though. You said you were able to shut down the airport. Like I said, I think it's... Are you not keeping refugees hostage? And I'm not trying to pitch you in the corner. I can't record you while you're recording. You can't. I'll give it to you. This is. There's 20,000 people watching. Are they still detained? Where's the best place to Send it. Except for send the people the who brought here, police, police, the right well, what's the email? There are people still. The branch is uh, coming from a policymaker well, who we don't agree with. But your issue is with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. But my question is, I'm just curious. Sure, but you're enforcing those problems. What you're doing? Oh, we do. Uh, actually, we don't. don't. We don't. And we're terrified. They were here for the refugees because because the president has proven that the government. No, right, but by arresting by using pepper spray. They declared that today. There's a reason why yeah, oh, no, they protesters did. caused the Supreme Court And in the escalation, they're like, this the temporary ban ACLU is, is quite over the top. But even though here, that has there happened, hasn't been we were about to go home. We learned that the refugees are still in right. But you until got they're not detained, Honestly, we're going to be I'm here. Not and when the release will leave, it's so simple. It's simple. But you watch the May Day protests. We have very good people doing the May Day protests. There's nothing else we want. We have a labor cause. And their, so your and their uh, march gets hijacked by... You're saying, there's a, you're you're saying there's a wrong way to do it. These guys are here because there's other people okay. that are... And that's why we, we differ. But there's sure, a but escalation, you know, this escalation is caused by... Presence so of escalation. Right, we haven't had that too. presence. We, all these I, we didn't bring oh, these guys in until this was long. All of my guys were dressed like this. If we had a long right. period of time, we, we would have done that. But the fact is, is all people are being But this actually makes the situation worse. There was risk of deportation. Well, that was gone through protests. In your mind, protests. I understand that. Oh, no, no, I mean, I, I do. We, 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 and now that they're no longer fearful of being deported, they're still being detained. It's a sense of urgency. And then 